Hello everyone, welcome to An Analysis of Dance, where we discuss the movements and debuts of the Billboard Hot Dance Charts in immaculate detail, with in-depth reviews of each debut each week. I mean, I called it last time that this week would be busy, but I didn't expect it would be this busy. Not only did we get a huge album bomb from FKA Twigs with her album Capra songs, but even Bonobo managed to sneak in a song alongside some pretty notable debuts. However, the one area that this didn't impact was the top 10, of course, where Cold Heart PNAU remix by Elton John and Dua Lipa continues to hold steady with streaming slowly growing alongside the ever strong radio and sales. Pep Out's by Faruko at number 2 once again has very strong streaming but no sales to speak of and radio is slowly fading away on it. This opens up a Do It To It by Acre featuring Cherish, which has radio gaining significantly, along with strong streaming and sales. Once again, I can see this is jumping past number three. It's very close in chart position to Peppers, according to calculations. The most notable jump in the top 10, however, came with When I'm Gone by Alesso and Katy Perry, continuing to gain up to number four with strong radio support and streaming finally taking an interest to it. It's really close in all channels with the two songs below it, but it seems likely to hold this spot for a while. Moth to a Flame by Swedish House Mafia on the weekend it actually fell below it to number five as radio slows down significantly even if the streaming is rock solid. This will be a big fight to maintain positions in the next few weeks. Hell, even with the motto by Tiesto and Ava Max as... Hell, even if the motto by Tiesto and Ava Max is stranded at number six for now, streaming is seriously pushing this up and the radio is slowly getting on board. Given how it jumped up so much on the bubbling under Hot 100, I can see a rebound for this soon on this chart. The rest of the top 10 remains the same as last week, with El Incomprendido by Faruko, Victor Cardenas and DJ Adoni holding steady at number 7 on fantastic streaming. I Feel Good by Pitbull featuring Anthony Watts and DJ Watch Shadow relying on the same radio and solid streams at number 8. Where Are You Now by Lost Frequencies and Callum Scott relying on growing radio and sales at number 9. And In The Ghetto just barely holding on at number 10 by Skrillex and Jay Bolvin with streams but collapsing radio. With what's getting below it, I can see this being knocked off into the recurrent list in the next two, three weeks at least. And speaking of which, our falls and fall offs list this week was absolutely nuts. With 17 debuts this week, a large majority of the chart got smashed off. I mean, you had to expected fall offs like Out Out by Jack Jones, Joel Corey, Charlie XCX, and Sweetie, which I called last week and will make the year in list for 2022. And My Heart Goes La Di Da by Becky Hill featuring Topic, which is right on the borderline as it got cut off mid year and hit 20 weeks. But the impact also destroyed a good chunk of the bottom half of the dance charts. Other notable fall offs include Man of the Moon by Alan Walker and Benjamin Croso, underperforming severely. Good. Sun came up by Sophie Tucker and John Summit. Violin by Cookie Kawaii featuring Dear Silas, which will both likely get caught between years. Promises by Diplo, Paul Wolford, and Kareem Lamax, which I seriously hope comes back. Player of Games by Grimes, which lasted way longer than I expected. And Sweet Talker by Years and Years and Galantis, which is the most likely to come back next week as we'll gain a big boost with the album in coming even if the album is hot garbage. The falls, however, are even more notable as nearly every single song below the top 20 got knocked five or more spots because of FKA Twigs. So, let's just go from the bottom up. How Do You Love by Cheat Codes, Lee Bryce and Lindsay L. Holds at 49, Young Human by John Summer featuring Echo notably falls only 10 spots to 48, California Dreamin' by Chris Lorenzo featuring High Jinx holds steady at 47, Undeniable by Kogo featuring X and Baxter just collapses to 45, How Will I Know by Jean Bandits and the late Whitney Houston is at 41. Again, gross. Happy Birthday by Tempo and L Alpha. Thankfully, it's continuing to go nowhere at 40. On My Knees by Rufus Dussault is unfortunately knocked down to 39. I hope this rebounds. Gassed Up by ZZ and Zotronics featuring Floyd and only holds at 34 because of Subtronics album release. Let's hope this doesn't last. I Wish by Joel Corey and Mabel is at 33. I Can Feel It by Sick Kick is continuing to just collapse at 30. Sahara by Hanson is down to 29 of the games last week. Family by David Guetta. Rexer, Ty Dolson, and the Bully with the Hoodies continuing to lose momentum at 27. And Chasing Stars by Alesso, Marshmallow, and James Bay somehow survives past the recurrent rules with a huge stop to 26. This should have been gone this week. Why is it still here? Can we just get rid of it? And even with all that, we still have jumps and comeback. The most notable came in the latter where we had it too, even with the huge number of debuts, being Move Your Body by Own Boss and Sevek at 50. Although these kinds of bass house tech house songs always have an unexpectedly good chart one, so I can't be too surprised. And Broken in the Right Places by Lost Kings and Mod Sun at 35 on literally... I have no clue. Let's just hope it's temporary, because I really, really don't care about the song that much. Thankfully, though, our only game this week, even with all this, 
is After You by Griffin, Jason Ross and Kelly Lemon and 22, which might have gotten a boost thanks to the Motti remix that just came out over a week ago. Even if the remix is not that good, I can at least say I gave this fantastic song a big jump. It's pretty much already guaranteed for a year on this spot, so I'm really happy with how well it's doing. Now we move on to an absolutely insane list of new arrivals, although we're not starting off with FKA Twigs, but rather... of FKA Twigs album one, we still managed to get this charting. And my god, I'm so happy it's here. It's one of the more restrained and low-key vocal cuts from Fragments, mainly done to fit with Joji's absolutely gorgeous singing as the backing vocals rise out of the mix on that phenomenal hook. The production here is also stunning too, centering around layers of ambient pads and strings to create one of Bonobo's most relaxed cuts to date. Not much more to say. I've already talked about this song in my review of the excellent new album by Bonobo. It only gets better the more I hear it. Absolutely fantastic song. Check it out. Okay, so since we have 12 new songs from FK Twigs, I'm going to try and keep these reviews short for the sake of not letting this episode run long. This one has some really pretty vocals from FK Twigs that bounce off the sharp, almost drill-like percussion quite nicely, even if the pockets she writes on this beat do get a bit messy at times. I also quite like the lyrics here too, where FK Twigs goes into seductive territory, talking about how the mind of a man will fall apart if a woman is not there to please him. Which is fair. It's not one of my favourites, mainly because of those pitch shifted vocal chops that echo in the background and get a bit annoying at times, but it's still pretty solid. Good stuff. I like this. It blows my mind that Bob Moses managed to still chart even with FKA Twigs dominating, especially given this is the second single from their upcoming album after Time and Time Again, which was a great song. I mean, granted, it got a push on alt radio recently, but still, it feels weird to me that they're able to do this well. Anyways, yeah, the song is goddamn great as expected. It's definitely more leaning towards their old school indie side with the bass heavy mint tempo production that allows the synth and Tom Howie's passionate vocals to shine through in the best way. The song has this really strong sense of freedom to it, especially when matched with the lyrics about driving through the city at night and finding that connection with a partner. It's very cohesive, well produced, fun, and catchy, and I can definitely see it doing well with the right push. Check this out, this is really damn great. Honestly, there's not much to say about this one. The spikes of avant-garde drum and bass percussion against the distant beeps of synths are quite nice. The stoky shouts and spoken word passages work well in connecting the song together, and FKA Twig sounds really good here. It's more of an interlude with a freeform structure that, while definitely flawed in nature, works really well in conveying the personality of this album. Great little track. I like this. Every Tuesday flag and a boy Half these low-key cap in the law Croydon College stack in the wall I love so big I give him my all East or South we're dreaming it all I was surprised that FKA Twigs hopped on board with the UK drill sound but I'm absolutely not going to complain because she writes the sharper acoustic guitar the drill production so goddamn well with so much bite to her delivery Georgia Smith and Unknown T absolutely kill it with their verses too especially Georgia Smith who goes for a more melodic approach that sounds absolutely stunning and adds more melody to the track I also really like the lyrics here in their Ode to London especially when FK Twigs interpolates Olive's You're Not Alone on the hook to emphasise how welcoming London is to anyone outside. It's goddamn great, flows really well, easily one of my favourites on the album. Check this out. From one of the best tracks we get to one of the worst, where against the obnoxious pitch shifted vocals that clip the mix, we get some really cheap simps, strange vocal effects that don't complement FKA Twigs at all, and some of the most annoying percussion that goes for a Jersey House approach and doesn't stick. Also it's under 2 minutes and feels seriously undercooked. One of the worst on the album, I don't like this at all. Next. This is for the hard dream Man, I wish I could like this track more. I mean, I dig the jazzy piano touches of the sparse trap percussion, and FKA Twigs sounds really pretty at the beginning of the hooks here, hitting a higher vocal range that really complements the smoother production super well. 
The problem comes in the pitch shifted vocals being horribly shrieky, especially at the end of the hook where they move all over the place and sound awkward as all hell. It's very jarring to include in a song this pretty, especially when FKA Twigs has the range to make it work really naturally. I mean it's fine, but I wish I could like this more. Why don't we get some serious Aluna vibes with this song? Especially given how heavy the Jamaican influences are emphasised here. I mean it's not bad at all, Shy Girl and FKA Twigs bounce off each other with some really good chemistry and the song has enough personality, especially in the open spoken word monologues, to give the song a really nice tone. I think the main problem comes with the production, where the percussion feels way too heavy and those air horns are absolutely ridiculous and really didn't need to be there. It's 2022, why are we making this a face stuff? Anyways, it's a good song, just not a huge favourite from the album. Unlike... Given how both artists embraced the weirder side of R&B, this collab was inevitable and of course it turned out goddamn excellent. The smoother R&B beat with those really nice piano chords and the jazzy cadence gives the track a really relaxed, gorgeous and serene approach that definitely provides great support for the love struck lyrics here. FK Tweez and Daniel C's have like so much chemistry and bounce off each other on that chorus in the second verse so well that you'd think they're the actual couple singing it. The song radiates so much insane chemistry and an incredibly potent relaxed vibe. Easily one of the best on Capra songs. It's a shame with this one because the production is legitimately great. As those choral vocal samples echo off behind the spoken word intro before the sharp afro beat production comes in and it gives the song a bounce that really does create a hauntingly beautiful sound. It's just a shame that FKA Tweez and Pastor Lou resort to a lower spoken word adjacent vocal style here because the moments that they actually sing sound really nice. It's a really good song, but the lower vocals hold it back from being great, at least for me. I don't think that I'll make it on my own. The moment I heard the distant putter of Simps against FK Twigs harmonising, I knew I was in for a treat with this one. It's easily one of the most personal on the album, using the Meta Angel as a symbol for the force guiding her to rebuild and find her own personal growth as a person. I really love the production here too, with the aforementioned harmonising bouncing off the absolutely gorgeous blend of Simps and violins before exploding as the trap beat comes in to give FK Twigs a really nice pocket to work with. One of the more experimental songs here, absolutely another favourite. Another one of my favourites, but for totally different reasons than Meta Angel. It's very much a song that relies on FKA Tweets to carry its emotional weight. With her lyrics talking about a relationship, where it's very clear she wants to change things up or not let the guy deny her love. Whether it's through taking his lead or ending things, we never know, but the aggression and sharpness in her delivery really does make this picture all the more conflicting and challenging for her mind. It's also backed up by a really clean trap beat with some really nice distant synths and what sounds like an electric guitar as the lead, which you don't hear in R&B that often. It's a really well structured and paced song that also absolutely slaps. Damn great stuff. The opening track, and yet another goddamn great song from this album, man this thing is stacked. It's one of the more subtly creepy cuts, focusing on an almost lo-fi esque beat with tons of demonic pitch shifted vocals that fit the vibe perfectly and balance off against FKA Twig's higher vocals really well. I love how the song slowly builds up as the bass and smoother trap percussion come in, with the blast of distortion across the song adding even more creepiness here. It's such a great listen that conveys the atmosphere of the album will explore really effectively. Really good song. Speaking of Aluna and our final break from FK Twigs this league, I'm actually surprised she managed to chart as high as she did. True fact, this is actually Aluna's highest charting song as a solo act or even as Aluna George, since you know you like it. Yeah, seriously. Anyways, here's the song and ha, huh, this is yet another really damn good song with Diplo's name on it. His production, along with help from American producer Durant, really shines through here. 
go for a more smoother house vibe with some really uplifting melodies and a damn great chorus that is catchy as hell. Aluna of course sounds absolutely great here. She always has a ton of personality as a singer and this song yet again proves why she should be so much bigger than she is. It's not the best thing from either Illumina or Diplo in recent memory but goddamn this was a ton of fun. Great song, let's make it a hit. I've always had my way but I forgive my sins, yeah baby that's okay. Okay, so since I've effectively covered every song from Capra Songs Not Named Tears in the Club, which may I remind you is also a goddamn great track, here's my ultimate verdict on the album. It's really damn great. Not as good as Magdalene, but definitely a strong addition to a stack catalog with great hooks and some really versatile production. This was the biggest song from it, and I'm not surprised at all. Even it's one of the more accessible cuts, focusing on a slower Afrobeat sound with Rama acting as the jealous man and FKA Twigs as the woman calling him out on his bullshit. It's a very confrontational song, but not one that compromises the smooth vibe it creates. I'm glad this was the biggest FKA Twigs debut from this week. Let's make this a hit too. That would be really cool to see. So that was this week, and my God, it was incredible. I mean, so many quality songs from FKA Twigs aside, we had some really incredible outliers that managed to surprise me in the best way. I mean, for the worst, yeah, it's going to powerful moves by FKA Twigs, more because that song's an underdeveloped mess, but I can't really give her a dishonorable runner-up. There wasn't anything else that was remotely bad. So in that spirit, I'm giving out two best of the weeks, The Careless by FKA Twigs featuring Daniel Caesar and From You by Bonobo featuring Joji, both expectedly excellent and really hip for me. With two runner-ups, The Meta Angel by FK Twigs and Love Brand New by Bob Moses. I'm sorry, I really like that song. I hope it becomes a hit. Although there were also some really close contenders from FK Twigs' album that could have gotten this position too. Next week, maybe an album on from years and years, but it's more likely going to be a reset as I'm fairly sure the majority of these songs will be gone next week. So it could be fairly interesting, you never know. But yeah, that's all for this episode of an analysis of dance. See you next time.